All right, guys, welcome to uh, understanding what cryptocurrency is. Uh, hopefully I can do this in a short amount of time, like five minutes, so you guys can get your feet wet in understanding what it is cryptocurrency and how does it work. To understand that, we have to go back to understanding the Internet. When the Internet was invented, it was a, an, a location that we could, people can put information so you can have it easier at your fingertips. With time, once Java came out, then you got to start getting your Googles and your Twitters uh, and Facebooks. They started jumping on board, where it made it pe easier for people to connect with each other. And of course, that's when Amazon and eBay started jumping on, so they can start selling things online. You can buy online stuff rather than go into the store. So the ecosystem grew on the internet. Bitcoin is the same thing, or, or cryptocurrency is the same thing. The first one that got invented was Bitcoin. And when you look at all these things that are out there, you see all these coins and you're wondering like, okay, so what are all these coins and what do they do and how do I know where to start? Well, we're going to start here. We're going to start you with what, how did it start and who's where. Bitcoin was the first one that got invented. And once they got it up and running, they wanted to find a way to make it more secure for buying things than being on the internet so that's the reason why it got invented and it also is decentralized meaning that you can be in the United States and you can send Bitcoin money to someone in Australia and they can on their side cash it in for their money so that way they have money going back and forth in a quicker way than dealing with a bank okay as time grew more companies started jumping on board so then it had an ecosystem. You have your information systems, you have your developments, your everybody started jumping on Bitcoin to make money. And you're able to send money back and forth. With time, it started to slow down. Transactions got slower, which we'll get that in a little bit later, I'll show you. Um, they had to find a way because you can send money to someone and it can take up to 24 hours to get the money on the other side because there was too many transactions happening and it was slowing down the system. That is where Ethereum was created, which is like a second generation. And they kind of had to build it from the ground up because you really couldn't fix something that was already built like Bitcoin. They had to start new, which they can make it better and just more people can be on it. With Ethereum, they started having their ecosystem. So these are their, you know, these are just some of them there. So I'm sure there's a lot more than these. They, these are just companies that do business on Ethereum. And Ethereum is a platform that they're all built on top of. They were doing great. They still are. But at this point, now they're running into issues as well because the ecosystem grows. More and more people are finding out about it. And the transactions are starting to get more expensive. And things are slowing down as well. So they had to find a way how they can get around by getting a third generation that came out. Of course, this is just a overview. You know, there's this goes a lot deeper than that, uh, but this is just to get you five minutes or less in understanding how the how this works. So now you have what's called Cardano, among other coins that are out there. Cardano is a, a third generation, and the gentleman that started this is was also part of the team that did the Ethereum. So he already had already knew a lot of issues that they were dealing with. So he was able to build it from the ground up with Cardano. Uh, the their ecosystem, which this is just some of the companies that will be jumping on board once it is fully up and running. Cardano, as of this recording, which is what we're in June 3rd, uh, they're not fully, Cardano's not fully up and running yet, so they're not able to do transactions. The company cannot get on there and get money, make money, until Cardano is fully functional, which is, would be somewhere around September. They have a 90 day rollout where they're making sure everything runs great before companies jump on board, and then Cardano will be kicking you know into full gear so here's an idea of what happened with transactions so when Bitcoin came out they can do about seven transactions per second now when you start adding a lot of people on there transactions started to slow down because there's too much congestion too many people are trying to send money back and forth so it kind of slowed down and it can take up 24 hours before you actually got any money from when someone sent it to you so Bitcoin is able to do it faster, around 20. Now they're running into some issues, which is way too slow and it's very expensive. You know, I can send 20 bucks to you, and they'll charge me like 90 dollars just to just to send the 20 dollars to you. Says so people are just trying to find ways to get this to where you know not be so expensive. 
So then you have other companies that go up, you know, board and just to kind of show you if you go to a store with your Visa credit card, Visa does 24,000 transactions per second. So it slow, shows you how slow things are with cryptocurrency because cryptocurrency is still new. They're still trying to find ways to improve on things and still keep it secure because you're dealing with people's money. Okay. This is uh, Charles Hus uh, Huskinson. He is the uh, inventor of Cardano. He says that he's going uh, his Cardano system will be able to do one to two million transactions per second, which is faster than anybody has ever seen, which we haven't seen it yet because it hasn't rolled out yet. So this is where he is saying that he's building a better ecosystem than what the first and second generation has done. Now we're up to the third one, which is bigger, better. And he has his uh, way of that he wants to run things to make it smoother for the world to be able to get on top of and to do things more securely. And so when you look at these, you have, for example, you got Bitcoin, which is the first one. The, right now, the current value of a Bitcoin is 38,000. Then you got Ethereum. And if you look it down, Cardano is a number five right now. And, and it hasn't even, not even up and running yet. And they already have a market cap of you know 58 billion dollars so it's it's incredible what how fast things move in the on the internet because people are looking for better ways of doing things so hopefully this will give you an idea of what cryptocurrency is and then all these coins are just companies on top of it what it is that they do so you would have to research each company to see what they do to see if it's worth you know trading with them so hopefully this will give you an idea of what cryptocurrency is about